What, what up, up though? though? Welcome to Woman Crush. Every, Every day, day where we discuss queer media, especially when it is black, black and especially when it is woman. woman. I'm your host, Tang B, aka Sean B. Scribe. And I'm your host, Allison, aka Al Woo. And today we are going to discuss First Kill on Netflix. Yes. Yes. But before we get into all that bloody goodness, subscribe, <laughs> yo. Make sure you do that. Tap in and connect with the fam. You know, you know what we do. Each week we drop all this, all this uh rich discussion, robust discussion. Yeah. On queer re- representations of queer black women. So tap in. And First Kill definitely has that going on and the character Calliope. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, So just to give you all a synopsis, First Kill is on Netflix. It follows two main characters, Julia and Calliope. Both are teenagers living somewhere in Georgia. Um, Savannah. Savannah. I mean, I don't know how much it matters actually to the, yeah. the story, but it's Savannah. <laughs> I know that. It's Savannah. So, uh... Juliet is a vampire, but it's a very special kind of vampire, a legacy vampire. So it is harder to kill them. We actually don't know how they die other than being eaten by ghouls. Um, And Calliope is a monster hunter. Uh, Hunts all monsters, including vampires and zombies and ghouls and all other things yeah, that they find out exist. Goblins all, all whatever just, that is. I didn't even know that there were, like, the monsters coexisted in the world. So yeah. this is, like, news to me that you can have, like, 20 different, different monsters kind of... out here living with you. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I found that out on True Blood when they started uh, bringing in the shapeshifters uh, and the werewolves and the vampires all together. See? They be hanging out. Who mm. knew? Make-believe you know. creatures could do... All kinds of things we just make up. Amazing. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Once you just once you get it started, it's like you know what? Let's bring out the ghouls and the goblins. <laughs> Why it. not? Just, why not? Um. So they are in love with each other, and uh, their families are at war. So there you have the Romeo and Juliet ish type storyline. Mm-hmm. So let's get into favorite moments. All right. Who's your so. My, f- I had a few favorite moments of this series. Um, I mean, off rip, I feel like the ending season one, episode one was just a beautiful little plot twist. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm like, I'm, I'm obviously about to watch the rest of this season now. Yeah. Um, excuse me. So what happened? Um, Calliope and Juliet go to a party, uh, you know, they're in high school or whatever, and they are playing spin the bottle. They end up in a closet together, something they've been wanting all week. Um, (laughs) and (laughs) then, you know, they start doing their makeout thing, but after a while, Juliet can't resist her vampire urges. Uh, I mean, she goes, she's going through like vampire puberty, I guess, and bites Calliope. <laughs> and you know, she's been Juliet is the person who doesn't. Well, the vampire, I guess, not person. I don't. I don't know what the line is for vampires yeah. and people. <laughs> uh, but Juliet doesn't want to kill people. She doesn't like the whole concept of having to suck people's blood. Yeah, and... she's like a vegan version of a vampire. <laughs> yeah, she's a vegan vampire. She's really struggling with the whole thing, but her emotions just overcome her and she ends up biting Calliope. And I think that moment where she bites and then Calliope is so ready for this and then stabs her in the chest. And it's like, oh, I got my first kill, bitches. You know, I just thought that was a really cool moment. So I yeah. think I love that scene. Um, second favorite scene has to go to the, close to the end of the season. Okay. When a whole bunch of things have happened. Obviously, we're in episode like seven or eight at this point. And um, Eleanor, who is Juliet's sister, gets, uh, she will, yeah, she gets busted. But Juliet sets her up. Mm. And the setup was like chef's kiss, <laughs> top tier setup. That's definitely that that whole crumbling scene was one of my favorites. Oh man, with the police show up with the rag gear and everything, they just oh, yeah. ready to take take Eleanor yeah, away. Yeah, she's like, what What's going on? What What do you want? Yeah, yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> so love that moment. You know, karma at its finest. Absolutely. 
Uh, well, I have to say, I, I really love the first episode as well, especially because we start off with um, Juliet kind of being the, the narrator and the one that we're following. And I was like, okay, I mean, cute, whatever. But, you know, we are woman crush every day. We talk about media, especially when it's black and especially when it's woman um, and black. <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, okay, this is a cute show. But then once the narration flipped and we really got to hear Calliope's story from Calliope's mouth and to hear like the history of her family as vampire hunters and how she has met women who are there to like ward off demons and and spiritual protectors and all of that I was just like yes I'm here for all of this I definitely have to know more about this character yeah so for it yeah um I think my other favorite scene was when Juliet and Calliope end up going to each other's houses. <laughs> um, and I love how the parents just eventually kind of cave a little bit. Um, especially when uh, Calliope's family is just like, okay, well, we don't want like our head organization finding out what's going on here. So we're going to keep it quiet. There's no vampire. We're not housing a vampire in our house. Our daughter is not hanging out with no vampire, but y'all got like five minutes in your room to figure this out. So I'm just, we just going to leave you alone for a second. And, um, I, I thought that was fun. And I really like the moments where the two moms are having to negotiate what, how their families are going to live with each other in order to, figure out this thing that's happening with their daughters. Um, And my third favorite scene. Go for it. When they try to sever (laughs) Calliope and Juliet, and then they end up in each other's dreams. And I was just like, that's what happens when you try to denounce the gay. (laughs) (laughs) It don't go nowhere. We will find a way, (laughs) y'all. They're like, we will see each other in our dreams, okay? They pull. That's how black we are. On you, okay. okay? <laughs> we about to really go into the meta, bitch. We yes. are going really deep lesbian now. <laughs> Stop fucking with us. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're serious. They're very serious. <laughs> um, who is your woman crush? All right. So, I mean, a little bit, I feel like I have to just give it, not even have to, but you know, I was like, I don't, I don't like ever claiming like teens as like woman crushes. Yeah. But you know, Calliope, that's that's our boo. We yeah. love her. We yeah. love. We're here for Calliope. Um, but I'm gonna second it up and say, uh, Talia, the mama, Calliope's mama, ma'am. If it don't work out, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, well, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, you got to leave him alone because he was ready to kill your son. So you already know. We're going to have to get into that in a second. Yeah. But <laughs> Talia was bad. And you know what? I also want to shout out Calliope's ex. Yeah. Uh, Calliope had a little ex boo thing, mm-hmm. va- vampire hunter, too. You know, uh, you know, we got just a bad cast. Mm-hmm. We got a bad cast. So yeah. shout out y'all. Yeah. No, totally agree. Um, and off of even beyond looks, just like the bad assness of, I mean, these are some fighting ass, tough ass women on this show. Um, everybody got hands, everybody got moves. Yes. So it's fun. It's fun to watch and more power to them. And yeah, I love that, you know, this made me think about heart stop and what happens when you get, um, a, a black female lead or co-lead and in heart stop she is like the damsel in distress which i think we need to have those um but i like that in this you know calliope is a bad bitch she is fighting she is hunting she is taking people out the game well monsters taking monsters out the game um and she also has this deep heart and i think she's a nice complex character that's also in teen mode so you know Feelings change all the time. <laughs> yeah, Um, what can stay? What can go? Ooh. Okay. So for me, what can stay is what can stay is 
I had a what can stay already. Maybe I can go in. <laughs> I don't know where it's at right now. Uh, that's um, okay. <laughs> but what can go, I I am not a fan of what ended up happening to the older brother. So Cal's oh, Theo, yeah. older brother, Theo, ends up getting killed. And, um, oh, I remember all my stuff now. Damn. <laughs> but I'll throw this in here too because this can go. Um, Theo ends up getting killed, uh, all because of Apollo's shenanigans messing around with Eleanor. Mm. Um, But they turn, well, Juliet ends up turning Theo into a legacy vampire, I believe. I don't think he's even just like a regular vampire. Yeah, we don't know yet. The god of vampires in this bitch now. And um, I think that's messed up. So, and that's just unfortunate. I mean, I guess it kind of has to happen. You know, you have to, like, find a way to blend the families if we're, like, thinking, like, stories. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, how does this resolve? Um, but that was bold, man. That whole thing can go the way Juliet, like, Juliet did a whole bunch of stuff that's like, ma'am, you are not helping. Yeah. Like, you are not helping. You're saying you're helping. I, I feel like, yeah, that the whole... She was trying to white savior the game. And yes, he was definitely serving white savior realness. I think that energy can just flee. Um, but the other thing that I was going to say can super duper go is hating ass ex-girlfriends. Yeah. Uh, Cal's ex-girlfriend, the other vampire who got the honorable mention woman crush, hated so hard. She hated like super hard. And I'm like, you know what? Turn exes, her in. Exes who trying to set you up can always go. So you really feel like she snitched on her because she was jealous? I think she was jealous. And a vampire hunter. Yeah. I think both of those things were at play. Yeah. yeah. And that's how her parents ended up getting killed. Because she wanted to snitch. Then they had to go try to kill all the vampires. Then what happened? They found out these vampires don't die. See? You know, that can go, too. I never really quite understand. How are y'all professional vampire hunters and you don't know how to kill the vampires? Like, that <laughs> well, would be like... they know how to kill vampires, but they don't know... The, I don't think they knew about these legacy vampires. Then they didn't They didn't go to, what, boot camp? What did they... How did, they, how did, you, how did you miss the deadliest of the vampires? Like, Well, you that's know, because Sebastian was saying that they hide in plain sight. They play human better than humans, which was some pompous shit that I'm glad Talia had her snarky remark, too. Weirdos. They they maybe did not go to the Harvard of of Hunters school. <laughs> you think they went to like just regular state school? Just, you know, you what know I'm saying? liberal just arts, whatever, college of Hunter school, giving money to go, basic <laughs> communications. <laughs> like, how <laughs> y'all don't know that? Okay, but anyway, I'm not gonna go too deep there. Um, what can stay? Did I even say what? I just went on my what can? Yeah, go. you you went straight to the like get rid of that. What can stay? <laughs> Um, I mean, this is a cute story. I'm trying to think what else can stay. Um, I I do think Juliet needs to go. I think, and I'm still back in my goals. Um, <laughs> right back to my goals. I, I mean, I want Juliet to stay because I get it. That's the story. But then I'm also very frustrated by Juliet. Um, I almost want Cal to go because Cal, well, maybe she's brainwashed. I don't know. I can't figure out what can stay. Just keep keep going. I need a season two. All right. <laughs> what can stay? What can go? Um, for me, what can stay is you know two teens deserve d- determined to be in love. That's cute. That's always Aww. nice. That's very cute. Uh, what can stay? I do like that they're trying to paint this picture of who you think is the monster is not always who's truly the monster and you can even become the monster yourself so you know i think that's a nice um you know moralistic thing to bring in is don't just label something and then that's what they are at all times but this is a lot of dysfunction This is a lot of dysfunction. Where I don't want Cal and Juliet to be together is y'all just actually aren't compatible because Juliet wants to drain your blood. (laughs) 
period. <laughs> and that is where this is an abusive relationship because you came saying like, I'm going to manipulate her to this party. I'm going to engage in sexual touchy feely things with her. And then I'm going to stab that bitch in the heart. So that's, that's wrong. Cal. That's wrong. That's wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> um, you shouldn't be manipulating, do that to participating lovers. in sex acts, which now look like sexual assault, and then stabbing people in the heart. Uh, Juliet, you should not be like, oh, I love you. Come to my house. Hang out with me. Oh, you want to go to a party with me? And then go on blood red in the face talking about run, run from me, run now. <laughs> like if your girlfriend needs to run from you, mm-hmm. you are an abuser. Speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you are running from your girlfriend, you are participating in an abusive relationship. Tell the people. If you're like, I don't need to run, I can handle it, I can fight mm, you. Mm. See, see, this is speaking to too many people's relationships right now. It, it, and unfortunately, I, I, I don't so. want this to validate anybody who's like, yeah, me and my girl, we fight each other all the time. She she bit me the other day. She stabbed me in the <laughs> chest last week. <laughs> like, like, this is not okay. This is not okay. <laughs> so, um, I think, yeah, Cal and Juliet, y'all probably do need some time apart. Y'all probably need to not be together. I don't know if counseling could really fix this mm-hmm. at all. And I think in this situation, your parents are right. You you shouldn't you shouldn't be together. Also, what can go is Juliet making funny jokes talk uh, when when they had to get through the checkpoint. And they was like, oh, it's monsters in the town. The police is like, it's monsters in the town. We got to check everybody. Everybody holds some silver. Cal holds the silver. She not a monster. So, of course, she's fine. Juliet holds the silver, get the burn on her hand. And then to distract them, um, she started joking, talking about, ha, 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 ha. Cal does something to distract them. And then after, they're like, why are you doing weird stuff? And she's like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, because she's a monster and I'm driving her home. Now the police think, Cal is the monster. Mm-hmm. And that's how... See, you be doing the white girl stuff, Juliet. You do. You be doing it. You be doing the stuff. It's like, why did you even have to be extra like that? Why? Why did you have to come in and buy her brother? Like, nobody asked you to do that. And it's fine. You know, I get it. Like, you're a monster. It's not so bad being a monster. Like, yada, yada, yada. Love for all creatures. All of that. But... He didn't ask to be that. He didn't ask for life part two. I mean, he didn't ask to die either, but... His mother was killed by a legacy vampire. Yeah. So... Why are you doing that? That was not help, ma'am. You should That was not yeah. help. Yeah. Um, But I agree with you. I want to see season two. Um, I got to see what happens, especially since Cal went off on you. And now I'm like... Julia, you walked away all like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I wonder how you're going to feel when you're a little bit deeper into your your breakup process. And at what point you're going to turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and- mm-hmm. You know, this is kind of random, but I'm also like, I don't know that I fully understand why they want to be like human and regular so bad, but then are eating people in like modern era because i'm like you can like he the da the daddy is the da yeah and i'm like you can't get a blood bank hookup or something (laughs) like you can't get this on the lows and just have like a cellar of fine bloods like i don't understand how you are all of this stuff it seemed like the rich people have like the richer people than them oh yeah they were like feeding off of humans on deck getting a little snack off (laughs) that was funny they had like a, um, I don't know, like a gala type of event, and they had <laughs> humans walking around offering up their wrists. Like anybody want to suck? Type O. Suck from my type wrists. O, anyone? <laughs> um, yeah, but just like the levels to which um, the the killing, <laughs> I just don't understand where they like they really could live simple lives if they just kind of played well, it I like guess how Juliet plays the it. The parents. It seems like they don't kill as often. It seems like they drink. Because she was saying, like, mom and dad don't have to kill. We don't have to kill to eat. So it was making it seem like they don't really be out here killing people like that. Like, you do that for the ritual, but you don't have to be, like, taking people out the game. And the sister is like, 
oh no, I kill. Yeah. I kill for fun. I want to see the gators get fed. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Watch it for the gator scene, bro. That shit was crazy. Okay. Where does this fit in the queer canon for you? Ooh, ooh queer canon. Um, you know, lesbians have been in vampire stuff for a long time. So I don't know that that is necessarily new, but, um, I think getting to see a character that is the main character and is a warrior, and this is more than just about their love story, this is, I mean, it does have those Shakespearean tropes of like, this is about honor to my family. This is about fulfilling my own destiny to myself. This is about how do I fit in in new places. This is about how do I assert who I am in this world. And this is about romance. Um, and so I feel like it's a nice, healthy mix of a lot of things. Um, I like the action in it. And I think it's a fun addition to, to the queer canon. What about for you? Um, I agree with everything you said. Um, I think it does play into the we fell in love for no particular reason trope <laughs> in lesbian couples. But I also feel like it's kind of like teens too, you yeah. know? So there's a space where it's kind of like, I don't know how much that's lesbian or if that's just opposites attract yeah like you know new kid at school you know you're not getting no action (laughs) like you see new bay you know um so i don't know where i where it it fits i guess i I do still kind of get some of that energy some of that like what are y'all even in love for (laughs) <laughs> what is this what is this pain that you all are choosing by choosing to be with one another yeah um but i'm not i'm not a monsters ghouls goblins vampires uh zombies like super big fan but i do feel like having this <sighs> multi ethnicity you know relationship and and having it as a young a story with young folks um having it queer i think to me it really sets an example for the future i guess in in so many ways like i feel like we this feels still like new ish you know what i mean in having Am I making sense? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. This feels new ish. Like, you know, when I was younger, there was, what was it? What was the name of that show? See, I didn't even watch that goofy shit. Um, Xena? No. Um, the other, the vampire thing. That Twilight? All like, Twilight. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Twilight was like Twi White. You feel me? <laughs> and this is like not, you yeah. know? So it gives us, it, <laughs> I, I appreciate the fact that it's gay. It has black folk in it. Um, and, it's it's fun, you know. I I think that it this is a fun and easily digestible show, yeah. and that is not a pun about <laughs> eating people, the blood, drinking the blood. <laughs> you know, I think too the fact that the parents are not upset about the queerness of this relationship. They're upset about the super queerness of this relationship, which is a hunter and a legacy vampire together. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to just take it beyond, like, let's queer it all. Um, and so I I do like that that is not their issue with their relationship. Their issue is we literally tried to kill this kind. <laughs> um, y'all are in love. Like, that's cute and whatnot that's like really adorable love it um but (laughs) um what you're not gonna do is mess up the family business that we have going of this rivalry um and so i love that it's the problem is beyond them being two girls two women um them being two girls two women is actually not the problem at all and nobody's shocked (laughs) Everybody is annoyed by everything beyond that. Mm-hmm. So 
Um, I think it's great to have more stories like that. And um, yeah, shout out to all the lesbian superhero stories uh, and, you know, fantasy stories because I'm here for it. I was here for it in True Blood. And then on Hulu, they have another show um, about superhero kids. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I'll try to remember it add it to the description it's like the you know they they it's always a name but she's uh dang i gotta remember it because it's like this character it's an asian girl and she's got this scepter and then it's a rainbow white girl and she like glows glitter and they are like in love together and it's very cute dang Okay, well, we'll have to go and watch it. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's queer canon for me. I, I like seeing more of this in the queer canon. I think we need more fantasy stories that offer these lessons, these moral lessons that teach us about acceptance and who we are and who we could be, um, and that also take it away from, oh, oh, my God, two women kissing. It's like that's... That doesn't need to be the drama. The drama is what comes with every relationship, which mm-hmm. is figuring out how to actually be two people or two creatures together. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'm here for it. Don't. Don't. What did y'all think? Yeah. If you checked out First Kill on Netflix already, leave something in the comments. Yeah. Let us know yeah. what you thought. And um, I don't you, know who you're yeah. rooting for. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know who you're rooting for. It better be Calliope. And <laughs> if you haven't watched it, it's eight episodes. So you can totally get it done in a weekend if you want, if you roll like that. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Binge it. Do what you got to do. And tap in with us next time. Boom. All, All right, right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>